In this video, we are looking at the Straight Talk LG Sunrise. This is an entry level Android from Straight Talk. Uh, this phone is a GSM model, which means it'll be activated with AT&T. Uh, if you're looking on the Straight Talk website or if uh, you visit your local Walmart, you might notice another phone by the name of LG Lucky. That's essentially this phone. Uh, so this review really applies to both of those phones. The only difference between this one and the Lucky is that the Lucky is a uh, CDMA phone, meaning that that one would be activated with Verizon. Everything else about these two phones is pretty much identical. Now the specs on this phone are a 3.8 inch screen. We get Android 4.4, which is KitKat, 1.2 gig dual core uh, processor. Uh, it's 3G, so it's uh, you don't get uh, 4G LTE speeds on this. And the camera is only 3 megapixels, so it doesn't take the best pictures. Um, but the phone retails for $39.99. And considering the price, I think this is a pretty good phone, uh, even though it's not the uh, terribly fancy or uh, really there's nothing spectacular about it. Um, the one little extra that I will mention that's not mentioned in the box is the fact that you get a 4 gig SD card, so you don't have to run out and buy one of them. So I would say that the other than the price, the main main highlight on this phone is the size because it is very compact. As you can see there with the playing card, it's probably about half an inch or so taller than the playing card and it's just as wide. Uh, we'll go ahead and measure it for you. Um, the height on this is a little bit a little bit less than four and a half. The width is right at about two and a half and the thickness of it is right at about uh, half an inch as I mentioned at the start the screen is 3.8 inches which is what we have exactly and the weight on this one is 4.25 ounces which is not uh, terribly light considering the size um, but it's not too bad I wouldn't say that it's a heavy phone by any means on to the uh, kind of the design of it uh, it is all plastic screen is plastic and of course everything else is plastic as you would expect in an entry-level phone uh, it does have the standard uh, three button Android layout at the bottom uh, one thing to point out here is that the buttons are not backlit, so they don't light up at night. Uh, the volume buttons are on the le upper left-hand side. Uh, there's your headphone jack, and there's your lock slash power button, and the charge port is at the bottom of the phone. Uh, here's the back. There you, see, there you see the camera. There is no LED flash on this one. There's a speaker, which is a pretty good placement, and this phone does have pretty good uh, sound quality the back of the phone is a textured plastic and it's all pretty much just flat black there's no trim or anything fancy on, on the phone now the one thing that I do like on this phone considering the price and that's the performance uh, because the phone is very responsive it responds to the slightest of touches and one cool thing about this phone uh, which you don't find in a lot in some of the other entry-level phones and that's the texture of the screen uh, because it is plastic some of the other some other uh, entry-level phones have a tendency to have a little bit of a texture to them when you when you swipe so your finger kind of drags a little bit when you swipe and zoom this phone the screen is very slick so you don't have that sensation when you're when you're swiping and zooming which I like um, and again as far as the performance goes uh, this phone performs great it does have that 1.2 dual uh, core processor so it'll run just about anything you you can think of uh, here's uh, the video uh, here's YouTube so you can look at the video quality and that kind of brings me to about one of the only things I don't like on this phone and it's probably not as evident in the video but basically unless you're looking at the phone dead on then you can see this kind of um, darkening uh, 
kind of thing going on the screen so even at the slightest of angles uh, it kind of becomes hard to see and that's particularly evident when you're watching a video and you come up on a dark scene kind of like that one so you can see there that you really can't see it uh, unless or you can't see it well unless you're looking at it dead on so that's really the only thing that I don't like on this phone and that's that that annoying thing with the uh, video quality when you're watching videos but it does have excellent sound quality for the size uh, you won't have a hard time hearing videos on it uh, and ne next I'll show you the uh, maps app and you'll get an idea of the responsiveness of it so you can see that it responds to rotations and zooms uh, pretty quickly not much lag time on anything on this phone which is really the thing that I like about it even though it's an inexpensive uh, phone uh, next we'll show you the uh, keyboard and kind of the texting interface and this is one thing you might want to keep in mind if you're looking at this phone and that's the fact that the icons are uh, not terribly big they're not so tiny that you that it becomes impossible to type but they are uh, a little bit smaller than some of the larger phones as you would expect so if you like to text a lot probably the easiest way to do it is in landscape mode because when you have it in portrait mode the icons um, are a lot smaller and it becomes a little bit more difficult to type but the accuracy is good on it no problems typing on it other than the size of the icons and next we will show you the camera uh, it's a very basic camera uh, again it's only three megapixels but it doesn't have a lot of the neat stuff that some of the more expensive phones have and that's kind of like kind of like some of the filters and some of the kind of cool effects that you get in some of the cameras so this one really does not have a whole lot of much going on with the camera other than the ability to take pictures um, here's the menu so you can see there's no filters or any cool effects or features on that the pictures are decent they're not great because again it is just a uh, three megapixel uh, camera on this phone and next we'll take a look at a little game here so you can see that you can play games without any problems but again do keep in mind that the size of the screen is fairly small so um, you know some games might be a little bit more more difficult to play than others we have Candy Crush and, and you can see that this is really small um, so it becomes a little more difficult to play games on this thing just really because of the size of the screen and then lastly we'll show you the phone dialer uh, nice and large uh, icons so no problems there and then we'll show you the menus so you can get an idea of the uh, ease of re uh, readability on there so everything is labeled nicely a very easy to read very easy to use uh, which is another thing that I like about this um, this phone so I think that about wraps this video up uh, I would recommend this phone for the price uh, again $39.99 uh, the only downside to this one is the uh, video quality again keep in mind that it, you have to really watch the video dead on for it to uh, to look good uh, otherwise it becomes a little bit darker than than you you might like uh, other than that performance is great uh, price is great and I do like the compact size even though it is a little bit limiting on things like games and and text uh, texting and whatnot.